Here's an example of how to use statistical process control. When you have a counted data and you have a standard uh, sample size. And so in this case we're going to use the NP chart data from the Automotive Industry Action Group. Here you can see it's spot weld flaws, they're undersized, cold weld, missing, off location, so on and so forth. We summarized all of those down here. And so what we want to do is take that data and we're going to click on the QI macros. And if you have a consistent sample size, it's going to prompt you and ask, are they values or labels sometimes? And in this case, it'll prompt us for titles. Normally I'd complete all of those, but here you can see we have a stable process. There are no red dots up here. So we have a consistent, uh, predictable process we can count on. And so we're able to determine that yes indeed we're stable, so let's go find out what our common errors are. So I just select the total over here, hold down the control key, select the titles, and then I can do a Pareto chart off of that. Uh, and this is total spot weld flaws, and that's the category. And you can see undersize is 91% of the total spot weld flaws. Now this tells us we have an improvement project we can work on. So I stick in a fishbone diagram. I'm going to move or copy that into my sheet here. And put that out there. So undersize accounted for, so during whatever time that was, let's call it 2010 for lack of anything better, undersized accounted for 91.1% of uh, spot weld flaws, which was higher than desired and caused a rework and lost profit or something. So there you go. That's how easy it can be to actually draw a p-chart to do our statistical process control. And we're going to use this to monitor, because afterward we'd expect this to go down. Then go back and do some analysis of the types of defects, come up with a fishbone diagram, and now I bet we can figure out who ought to be involved with figuring out why we have undersized spot welds. And that's how easy it can be to do statistical process control and data analysis and problem solving using the QI macros.